This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. We are starting with mandibular major connectors today. So let me just quickly jump on to the types of the mandibular major connector. So let us suppose I have a clay with me or let us just suppose I have a wax with me. Okay, so I am going to mold the wax and place it here. Okay, at the floor of the mouth. And this will be named as the lingual bar. Okay. Now something clicked my mind and I decided that I should extend this till the lingual aspect of the teeth. So we will name it as a lingual plate. I'll tell you why we are doing this in a while. Now I decided to keep the center portion open means I decided to have one bar here and one bar here that will be the double lingual bar also called as the Kennedy bar. So we got the third type of mandibular major connector. But then all of a sudden I decided to remove this and place it at the labial side. Not on the lingual side but on the labial side. So that will be the labial bar. So we have four types of mandibular major connector. We have the lingual bar, lingual plate, double lingual bar, also called as Kennedy bar and then the label bar. So the question is why did I decide to go with the sequence? Why I first made a bar and then I stretched it and then I decided to make it into two bars and then finally I changed the position and kept it on the label side. Why? The answer can be explained when we know about the labial bar first. So the thing with the label bar is that this is our label bar. Okay. Now as per the design requirement our label bar should be at least 5 mm in height. Okay. Also our label bar should have at least 3 mm distance between the gingival margin and this you know label bar. So total so total we need we need how much 8 mm minimum height of the floor of the mouth okay so this is the requirement of the label bar but what if we don't have this what if what if the height of the floor of the mouth is less what will you do you cannot place the label bar in that case now we will look for alternative options so first of all i had created the lingual bar and then i moved on to the lingual plate why because lingual plate does not require this amount of space even if the space is less we can still go with the lingual plate right so the next preference will be lingual plate also lingual plate is indicated when we have periodontally compromised teeth these teeth if they are periodontally compromised they can be splinted with the help of the lingual plate so that is another indication okay now in case we are choosing the lingual plate but we have the anterior teeth widely separated like they have diastema the embrasure is too much or they are very crowded so in that case is also the lingual plate will be difficult to put then what will you do you will do what i did I chose the double lingual bar because in double lingual bar it is made such a way that it can handle the diastema also it can handle the axial inclination of the teeth all right okay if we have this teeth lingually tilted okay what will you do whenever we give any appliance obviously the path of insertion will be something like this so when you have a teeth this way obviously any obviously any major connector cannot fit in this space 
okay either you won't be able to put it inside or if it is inside you won't be able to put it outside the mouth so in that case what you will do you will do what i did i went with the label bar so label bar is indicated when we have lingually inclined mandibular anteriors right also when we have conditions like mandibular tori and that could not be operated because of some conditions with the patient so in that case also we are going with the labial bar okay so tori undercuts or lingual inclination of the mandibular anteriors go with the labial one so these were the four types of the major connector we also have one more major connector the sublingual bar so when we place the lingual bar still you know below that will be the sublingual bar and it is given because it has increased rigidity also keep in mind that the lingual plate has the best rigidity okay so if you found the video helpful don't forget to smash that like button also subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update on any upcoming videos i'm really thankful for your comments and support thanks for watching allah face